Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube station. We had a little technical difficulties trying to start this off, but oh no, this could be ill-fated with all the issues I've had trying to put this game on. But we're going to do it. And this is for Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming, a wonderful channel. Check that out, Bleacher Bums Gaming. A lot of retro baseball and other sports, also boxing. He's doing a, he's doing a couple of uh, wonderful series. The St. Louis Browns, I think it's from 1922 in a time machine, traveled to 1977 and replaced the Toronto Blue Jays to play a full season there. And he's also doing a Jackson, Reggie Jackson versus Andrew Judge challenge as well as the 1969 Chicago Cubs replay. So that's Bleach Your Bums Gaming with Anthony. This Titan Bowl is for you, my friend. I wish everyone a happy Easter weekend and hope everyone had a great Good Friday. Usually in a Titan Bowl, I play as the offense on both teams, but in today's game, I will take total control of the 1984 BYU Cougars against the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide. BYU in 1984 won the national championship with a record of 13 wins and no losses. And in the college football season that just ended, the 2017 season, the Alabama Crimson Tide won the national championship with a 13 and 1 record. As I put 31 and 1, that's not accurate. That's that's what you call dyslexia. I will fix that later. <laughs> so, in the backfield for BYU at running back is Hemula and Smith. The wideouts are Kozlowski and Heisbert. The tight end is Mills. The quarterback, Robbie Bosco, who is just an outstanding college quarterback. And at tackles, you have Wong and Wright. Guards, Anae and Garrick. And the center is Maddich. For Alabama, the running backs are Scarborough and Ridley. The wideout, Sims and Foster. The tight end, Smith. The quarterback is Hertz. The tackles are Williams and Womack. The guards are uh, Purse, Schaub, Backer. And Cotton, the center, is Bowsman. Oh, I'm going to have fun with some of these names. On defense for BYU, the defensive ends are Herman and Hamilton. The tackles are Brad Smith. And they have another K. Smith, and I could not find another K. Smith who's a defensive tackle on their team. They do have a running back, Kelly Smith, so we'll just call him K. Smith. The outside linebackers are Govea and White. The middle linebacker is uh, McAllen. The cornerbacks are Allen and Sprouls. The safeties are Morell and Hammond. For the 2017 Crimson Tide, the defensive ends are Davis and Hand. The defensive tackle is Payne. The two outside linebackers are Hamilton and Wallace. The middle linebackers are Evans and Jennings. The cornerbacks are Everett and Fitzpatrick. The safeties are Harrison, are Harris, excuse me, Harrison and Jones. Let's get to the kickoff. BYU will be kicking off to Alabama. Deep for Alabama, Rugs. The short men are Jacobs and Diggs. And here comes the kickoff at the Orange Bowl. The Titan Bowl between the 1984 National Champions BYU Cougars, who finished 13-0, against the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide, who finished 13-1. Here we go. Here's the kickoff. <laughs> Alabama with the return. It's a pretty good one. The ball's loose on the big hit. Who has it? Alabama recovers the fumble. Womack recovers it. As Ruggs lost the ball on the hit by the Cougars special team, but it is recovered, and Alabama will start first and 10 on their own 43, and I was able to find almost every pitcher for the Alabama players, almost every pitcher, as you can see, so Alabama will come out with their quarterback hurt under center, 
one running back Scarborough, the two wideouts are Ridley and Sims. They go double tight end with uh, uh, Hengis and Smith. What you see these numbers are the ratings for the players. If you see a letter, it's because they are a skill position. So those T means tight end. The ratings go 1 through 10 in the game. BYU, we're going to play a 3-4 basic. Back to pass goes hurt. He's looking over the middle and complete the Sprouls for a 17-yard gain. I'm sorry, to complete the Hengis, he was tackled by Sprouls. On the medium cross. So a big chunk of yardage there. 17 yards on the very first play for the Crimson Tide. And now it's first and 10 on the BYU 40. Again, Alabama stays with the one back behind Hurt. The two wideouts, two tight ends. We're going to play 3-4. Zone. basic and hurt it's a bootleg and he has brought down a big hit uh by Govea on the bootleg and that was for no gain and it's gonna be second and ten great job by Bo uh, Govea as he sniffed that play out right away so it's second and ten on the BYU 40 Again, Alabama stays with their two wideouts, two tight ends, single running back, quarterback under center. We're going to blitz Govea. We're going to play tight man. We're going to blitz Govea. And we're going to spy the quarterback. with Allen. And pass. It's a handoff, and oh, BYU blows right through as Scarborough is brought down by Whittingham at the 40. No gain, so the blitz disrupts. That trap left, and a bad black by Cotton for the Crimson Tide. So it now brings up third and ten. BYU looking to hold here, and uh, Alabama goes to three wideouts and one tight end. The wideouts are Sims, Foster, and Ridley. The lone running back behind Hurt, who's under center, is Scarborough, and the tight end is Smith. BYU will counter. With a 3-3, three, three, actually we're going to go 4-2, we're going to go 3-2 dime. 3-2 dime, third and 10, we're going to send Govea on the blitz. Allen will spy the quarterback. Tight man. Pass. And there goes Hurt. He's running. He breaks one tackle, but he's not going to break free from the other two BYU tacklers. And the tackle will be awarded to Brad Smith. It's only a gain of three, and BYU has forced the Alabama Crimson Tide to punt on their first possession. What a job. The Blitz and Govea gave no time for Hurts. To do anything in the pocket, he quickly left the pocket. But he was only able to pick up three. It makes it fourth and seven. Here comes the punt team for Alabama. And BYU will have the punt return on. It's an angle punt towards the sideline. It goes out around the 12. It's a 29-yard punt. And it actually goes a little farther than I thought. BYU will take over first and 10. On their own eight, and they are led out by the excellent college quarterback, Robbie Bosco. The running backs are Hemuli, 
and Smith. The wideouts are Kozowski and Heisbert. The tight end is Mills. We're going to go short and quick to, to um, Kozlowski. Bosco back to pass. Incomplete. The throw was high. Alabama was in a 3-4 basic normal man defensive line to the outside. So it'll bring up second and 10 from the 8. Draw to Smith. They're keying that. Alabama's keying that. We're going to go short slant to Heisbert. Audible. Bosco. The ball is incomplete second and ten. Mosley was blitzing. They applied uh, tremendous pressure on Bosco. He tried to dump it to Mills. Incomplete. He had his bell rung. He is out for a play. And in comes Fowler. So third and ten. BYU will take it quite carefully here on their own eight. Screen pass to Smith. They're keying that. We're going to stick with the original play call. We're going to go with the screen. It's set up. Smith picks up the first down. Gain of 14. As Fowler felt a tremendous pass rush, scrambled away from the pressure, still was able to dump it off to Kelly Smith, who had beautiful blocking up front. A gain of 14, first and 10. On the BYU 20, and Bosco is back in the game. As Beatles Eternally says, a better strategy would be to play double play depth. <laughs> Beatles is not a student at college football, but we still love him. How are you, my friend Beatles? Hope all is well. So Bosco is back in the game. And Smith's at 96, so we're going to take Smith out. And we're going to replace him with Parker. So Parker comes in the game. Split backfield for BYU. It's now Hemuli and Parker. Two wideouts, Kozlowski and Heisbert. The tight end, Mills. We're going to play action fake. Look for our tight end, Mills, on the short out. There's the play fake. And Bosco can't find him. Mills is covered. Tremendous pressure again applied by Mosley from the Crimson Tide. He tried to dump it down to Parker. Incomplete brings up second and ten. We'll go to a screen pass to Himili. They're keying that. We're going to stay with stick with the play. Bosco back to pass. Dumps it to... Oh, he dropped it. Himili drops the ball. He had an escort out in front of him. So that will bring up third and ten with 10.37 to play here in the first quarter. We're now going to go to three wide outs. The lone running back will be Smith. And what's Smith? Smith is an excellent receiver. We're going to go screen to Smith. They're keying it. We're sticking with it. Bosco back to pass. He hits Smith with the screen, and he picks up a huge first down, 17 yards. Finally brought down by Jennings of the Crimson Tide. Kelly Smith, two receptions, 31 yards. He has been all the offense that BYU can muster, as it's now first and 10 on the BYU 39. BYU will stick with the three wideouts, and the lone running back, Smith. The wideouts are Kozlowski. Heisburn and Bellini. The tight end is Mills. And we're going to go dive play to Smith. There goes Smith up the middle. And he picks up four tough yards. Finally brought down by Harrison. So it will be second and six on the BYU 43. And we will give Smith a breather here. He, Mealy, will come back in the game. I probably mispronounced this guy's name four different ways. So we'll stick with the three wideouts, the lone running back. 
We'll stick with the dive play to Heenley. Hut, hut. Hey, diddle diddle up the middle, and that is stuff for no gain. As Hand is credited with the tackle for the Crimson Tide. Mosley for Alabama is shaking up, and he'll be out for about a play. So it brings up third and six for the BYU Cougars. They'll stick with their three wideouts in the one tight end. Lone running back behind Bosco. Bosco under center. Screen to Bellini, the wideout. Wide receiver screen. Tremendous pressure. Bosco hits Bellini. Bellini picks up 13 yards on the screen. Finally brought down by Brown. Tremendous pressure. Bosco stepped up in the pocket. Quickly dished it to Bellini. On the wide receiver screen, so it's first and ten in Alabama territory on the 44. Beatles attorney says, doing okay, my friend, and I hope you are still bearing up. Blessings and prayers for you, mom, dad, and your family. Thank you very much, Beatles. Thank you very much, my friend. Same to you. So it's first and ten with 8.50 to play in the first quarter. And BYU is on the march. Parker will come in for Hemuli. So again, the three wideouts, the one tight end, Bosco under center. And we're going to give the ball to Parker on an off tackle left. They're keying that. Bosco will audible out of the play. Medium fly to Bellini. <laughs> Bosco hits Bellini, gain of 17. And that's Bellini's second catch, and it's first and 10 on the Alabama 27. As the roll tide rolled is rolling backwards. The Cougars pressing forward. 8.03 left in the first quarter. Again, BYU will stick with the three wideouts, the tight end, and Parker in the backfield. Dive to Parker. There's Parker up the middle, and he picks up three tough yards. He was dropped by Moses, but Moses took the brunt of the hit, and he's limping off. Should be back in about a play. So it's second and seven, 721 to play in the first quarter on the Alabama 24. No score here in this Titan Bowl between the 1984 national champions and the 2017 national champions. Screen to Parker. They set the screen up. They hit Parker. Oh, he, Parker. There's a big pass rush. Bosco threw off his timing, and it's incomplete. So that'll bring up third and seven. A field goal here for BYU is a 77% chance of Johnson making it. But BYU does not want field goals. They want touchdowns. So third and seven. Kelly will come back in the... Uh, Kelly Smith will come back in the game. Bosco's now 3 of 8 for 47 yards. Play action pass. We're going to look for our tight end Mills on the medium slant. There's a play action. Looking for Mills. Looking. He can. He dumps it down to Holding Smith. Offense. Oh, penalty. boy. That is a tough call. Smith had picked up 8 yards in the first down. But it will be nullified by the holding call on right of the offensive line. So that will bring up a third and long, a third and 17. And that is a huge holding call because the field goal that was once 77% chance of success is now 36% chance. As BYU has the ball in the Alabama 34. So Bosco and the Cougars break the huddle, come up to the line of scrimmage. Three wide outs. Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. The tight end is Mills. Kelly Smith, the lone running back. Bosco under center. We're going to go screen to Smith. Here it is. They set it up. Smith's hit and stride, and he almost picks up the first down. Do they get it? Do they get it? 17. Ruling on the field stands. They the get it. will be charged. As Alabama ch uh, challenged the play, unsuccessful challenge by Saban. What a play 
by Kelly Smith, who now has three receptions for 48 yards. He struggled for that last yard, and they just moved the chains. So third and long, no problem for the BYU Cougars. It's now first and 10 from the Alabama 17 with 6.52 to play in the first quarter. Smith will go out of the game for Heimele. Again, BYU will stay in the three wide out, one tight end. Bosco under center. Dive play to Heimele. Up the middle, Heimele struggles for three yards. Tackled by Moses. So it's second and seven from the Alabama 14. We're going to run a corner fade. Corner fade to Kozlowski. Bosco back to pass. Tremendous pressure. And he is brought down for a loss of seven. And again, Bosco has his bell rung. And he's going to be out for about four plays. Tremendous hit by Harrison and company. So it is third and 14. And the backup quarterback Fowler comes back out. Fowler's one for one today. A field goal attempt from here is 80% for Johnson, the BYU kicker. Kelly comes back in the game. Kelly Smith. Again, BYU three wideouts, one tight end. Mills the tight end. The wideouts are Bellini, Haysbert, and Kozlowski. The lone running back behind Fowler is Kelly Smith. Fowler's under center. Screen to Kelly Smith. Third and long. Smith has it. And he picks up the first down again. Unbelievable to the bones and groans of the Crimson Tide fans. Holy cow. Kelly Smith is torching the Alabama defense. That is a gain of 15. He was finally brought down by Averett. It will be first and goal from the six. Beatles Attorney says, Title Bout Boxing is so tempting, but I wonder if I should wait for Title Bout 3, which is in development. They've said they're going to develop a new one forever, and they haven't. So, if you can get the game cheap enough, and you have to determine if you can get it at the value you want, it is a fun game, but you have to be a big boxing fan, because it's a pretty much a text you're gonna read it yeah you see the little guys kind of hit each other um and it's a fun game but if you are if you have some doubts in your mind i would wait then because i'd hate for you even to spend one dollar one cent on something you said you might go and go uh you know so first and goal a really tremendous drive here fowler's now two for two both of his receptions uh, pass receptions are from Smith. Smith now has four receptions, 63 yards. He will come out of the game. Parker will come in. Hand off to Parker. And it's going to be a sweep right. There goes Parker. Sweep right. And he is smothered. Loss of three. Alabama's tremendous team defense. I should not have swept. So it's now second and goal from the nine. Parker will come out. Smith will come back in. Right. Wide outs. Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. Tight end, Mills. And let's look for a short out here. And we're going to go to Bellini on the short out. Fowler back to pass under pressure. Steps up. He's running for it. And he is brought down. Grabbing the face mask. Defense. Automatic. Oh. Touchdown. Nick Saban is going spastic on the sideline. The grabbing of the face mask by Mosley will give it the Cougars an automatic first and goal. Wow, as Fowler scrambled 
for three yards as he faced tremendous pressure, but the face mask will be first and goal now from the Alabama three, and Robbie Bosco's back in the game. Beatles attorney in chat talking about title about championship boxing says it's twelve ninety five for two licenses. I enjoy the game, so yeah, I, you've seen what I've done with it, and I, I'm not really playing. I'm simming it and calling it. You can play and trade. Um, you can play as a boxer, but it's not like you have. You can say fight inside, fight outside, uh, defensively. You can train them a little bit. You have to really, really enjoy boxing. Now, I always tell, there's a couple of people that asked me a while back about the game. I said, you have to really enjoy the sport of boxing. If you do not, if you're just a fringe fan, you're not going to most likely enjoy that game. You have to enjoy the history of boxing. If you enjoy the history of boxing, I think, and you're a boxing fan, you will love title about boxing. I do hope they come out with a newer one. It's been in development forever. It's fallen off a couple of times. So, All right, first and goal for the BYU Cougars, 423 to play. This has been a 19-play drive. It's chewed up 7 minutes and 26 seconds a clock, and it's gone 89 yards. BYU will go with a full house backfield. Two tight ends, Mills and Molini. The backs are Parker, Winningham, and Kelly Smith. Winningham on the dive play. First and goal. Winningham up the middle. And he struggles for two yards. It will be second and goal from the Alabama one. Again, we will stay with the full house backfield. Mills. Uh, let's not get let's not get let's not get silly now. I almost got silly. Al Red Sox fan, control your inner idiot. Don't call that play. Dive play, Parker. There goes Parker up the middle touchdown. On the dive play, excellent blocking up front. Jennings and Wallace were blitzing. Parker blows right by them for the score. 6-0, the 1984 BYU Cougars over the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide. As Beatles attorney says, LOL, I have watched some football games and still have no clue about it. Don't worry about it, Beatles. This game is for... Bleacher Bums Gaming, Anthony, he's a big BYU fan, and I promised him the game. So let's watch that replay. And here's the Parker touchdown. There's, you could see the blitz. It got one more time. The blitz gets picked up. Excellent block, and bam, Parker splits that, and he goes in from a yard out. Practically untouched. Here comes Johnson on for the extra point. The snap, the place, the kick right down the middle. 7 nothing BYU. So the 1984 Brigham Young Cougars 7, the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide nothing with 342 left in the first quarter. That BYU drive was 21 plays, 92 yards. It chewed up 8 minutes and 7 seconds of clock, aided by a big uh, penalty down near the goal line that gave BYU a first down and goal. And also, I believe, three or four clutch third and longs that BYU picked up. Basically, screen plays to Kelly Smith. So BYU will kick deep to Alabama. Ruggs is the deep man for the Tide. Jacobs and Diggs are short. Here's the kickoff by Johnson. Here comes a return by Alabama near the 40, near the 45, and brought down by... Len Lenko, it's a return of 29 by Ruggs. So Alabama will start first and 10 on their 47. Excellent field position. As Hurt will be under center. Hurts will be under center. They'll go with one running back, Scarborough. Two wide outs, Ridley and Sims. Two tight ends, Hengis. Hen 
Hengis, excuse me, and Smith. VMIU, we're going to play a 3 4. Why can't we play a 3 4? Why is everything in nickel? I don't want to play nickel. Okay. Why can we not? I don't want to play 3 3 nickel. One, two, three, four. They have four they have four receivers plus I don't want to play a nickel. I want to play a three four. Why won't it let me play a three four? Let's go to match. Hide. I don't know why it will not let me play a three four defense. We're not in a 3-3 nickel anyway. We're in a 4-3. Okay, we're going to play. Oh, I don't like this. This is some sort of glitch, and that's, it's really... Oh, quick defense. I don't want a quick defense. Well, let's just do this right now. 3-3 nickel. I don't know why it wants... I don't want to play a 3-3 nickel. But, all right. We're going to play... Zone basic. And there goes the run by Scarborough. He'll pick up five. It'll be second and five. From the BYU 48. And that's Bo Scarborough's second carry for five yards. Tackle will be credited to White. And that's White's first tackle for the Cougars. Why are there two 3-3 three, three nickels? This is annoying me. Something just glitched. Reset. No, that's not going to happen either. Hide. I should be able to play whatever coverage I want. All right. I mean, again, I, I don't want to play a 5-2 basic. I just want to see that's baloney. Why did the game glitch? All right. I have two 3-3 three, three nickels. Why would I have two 3-3 three, three nickels? Where's my 3-4 defense, my 4-3 defense? Three three nickel short zone basic. It's oh Hertz is brought down behind the line of scrimmage. No gain. As Whittingham is credited with the tackle. They try to run a sweep with their quarterback Hertz. It's now third and five. And I can and they'll stay. Alabama will stay with the two wideouts, two tight ends. One running back is Scarborough behind Hertz, who's under center. As we're still spying him with MV Allen. So we'll play. How many 3-3 three, three nickel? Look at this. It's ridiculous. 3-3 three, three nickel. 3-3 three, three nickel. 3-3 three, three nickel. They, I could have sworn. When I go back and look at this video, and I'm looking at my defense, I, there, I was playing. I was able to play a 3-4. I'm almost positive. Unless my eyes played tricks on me. All right. Third and five. 4-2 nickel. Tight man. And basic. Hurts back to pass. He throws incomplete. Tipped away by Morrell. Great defense by the BYU Cougars. And they'll force Alabama to punt once again. It will fourth and five. And here comes a punt team for the Crimson Tide in the chat. Beatles Eternally says, I know you need to get the ball in the end zone and that touchdowns are worth six points instead of just one. You are correct, Beatles, my friend. Here comes the punt. We'll have the return on it. Here's the punt. It's an angle punt, and that looks like it went out around the 15. It goes out of bounds at the 12. It's a punt of 36 yards. So Vai Sikihima will not have 
a chance to return it. He's a dangerous punt returner. So here comes Robbie Bosco in the BYU offense. First and 10 on their own 12 with a 7 nothing lead and 151 to play in the first quarter. We're going to go back to our three. Actually, we're going to go even. We're going to go four wideouts. No tight end. Our lone running back will be Kelly Smith, but he's at 94%. So we're going to bring in Hemuli. So here comes Hemuli. And we're going to go screen to Hemuli. Bosco back to pass. You're setting up the screen. He hits Hemuli and try it. And only a short pickup of four as Jennings for the Crimson Tide puts the big hit on. And stops that progress immediately. So it's second and six. Bosco and the Cougars break the huddle. Again, four wideouts. The wideouts are Kozlowski, Heisbert, Bellini, and Orr. The lone running back is Hemili. And it's a dive play to Hemili. And Hemili goes up the middle for a gain of one. Hamilton on the tackle. And Jennings for the Crimson Tide is going out for a play or two. So it brings up third and five clock, uh, clock stop on the injury. Third and five from the BYU 17. Short hitch. Okay. We're going to go. Hemili is going to stay in the block. We're going to go play action fake. Short hitch to Heisberg. There's a the payback to fake. Here comes a blitz. And Bosco is brought down. The sack will be credited to Sean, Ham Sean Dion Hamilton. That's his first sack. Hemily did not make his block, it looked like. But there were, how many did they? They only blitzed one. It was a delay, so Hemily missed his block. And it brings 4th and 11. Here comes the punt team. Clock running with 59 seconds left in the first quarter. And BYU will punt deep to Marks. Here's a snap. And the ball oh, is blocked! The punt is blocked! And going in for the score is Payne! And just like that, Alabama has tied up the game. On the pump block by Payne and the extra point, it is 7-7. Seven to seven. And because I don't control Alabama, we cannot see the replay. But my God, what a job by the Alabama special teams. The defense did their job. They kept BYU from moving the ball. And then the special teams blows in, blocks the punt. Payne picks it up and goes into the end zone. Extra point by Papa. Pat Panastos was good. I believe he's Greek. So it's 7-7. Seven to seven. So a first quarter basically dominated by BYU. One play, it goes all for naught. It's 7-7 seven to seven on the punt block. Wow, great special teams. Nick Saban is joyous on the sideline, as joyous as he ever looks. Means he sort of smiled. So here's the kickoff, and the Cougars and their fans are in shock. With 21 seconds left in the first quarter, 7-7 seven to seven between the 84 Brigham Young Cougars and the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide. Vi Sikahima is the deep man, the short man for the Cougars, Parker and Whittingham. Here's the kickoff. The return is on. Here comes Vi Sikahima. He's past the 30 and he's brought down. After a 29-yard gain by Brown, and here comes Robbie Bosco in the BYU offense with 16 seconds left to go in the first quarter. First and 10 on there, 31. We'll stay with the split backfield. The backs are Parker and Himuli. The wideouts are Kozlowski and Heisbert. The tight end is Mills. Play action fake. Run counter. Run counter. Trap left. Parker. 
And there goes Parker. And he pops for seven yards. And that will be the end of the first quarter. So the play action fake run counter to Parker on the trap left goes for seven yards. And Parker now has four carries for eight yards and a touchdown. And that's the end of the first quarter. We will go to the second quarter. Take care, Beatles. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. I know you're not a football guy. So it's second and three to start out the second quarter. 7-7 ball game between the 84 BYU Cougars and the 2017 Crimson Tide Battle of National Champions in this Titan Bowl in the Orange Bowl. Dive to Parker. They're keying that. We're going to go medium fly to Kozlowski. Bosco changed the play, and he hits Kozlowski in stride for 24 yards, dragged down by Jennings. And that's Jennings' third tackle for the tie, but it will be first and 10 on the Alabama 38. And that's Kozlowski's first reception for 24 yards. 7-7 ball game. BYU, BYU looking to strike back and strike back hard. Again, BYU will stay with the split backfield of Parker and Hemuley. Wide outs, Kozlowski and Heisbert, the tight end Mills. Play action fake. We're going to look for our tight end Mills. Hemuley and Parker will stay in the block. Short slant to Mills. Play action. There's a... Oh! Could not connect up. Good coverage by Harrison. Disrupted just enough. As if Mills did catch that, he would have been off to the races and six points. So it brings up second and ten. BYU will now go to three wideouts and one running back. Kelly comes in, Kelly Smith. The wideouts are now um, Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. The tight end, Mills, stays in the game. And we're going to go dive play to Kelly Smith. And Smith is smothered. As the defensive back, Jamie Mosley, or the linebacker, uh, outside linebacker, came right in and stuffed that play for a loss of one. And it's third and 11. Smith now has two carries for three yards. Where he's done his damage is receiving the ball out of the backfield. Short to the flat for Smith. Bosco back to pass. Incomplete. There was some miscommunication there between Bosco and Smith, and that will bring up fourth and 11. A field goal from the 39 is only an 18% chance of success. And punting the ball, to me, is not an option. Oh, I guess we should punt. We're going to keep the offense on the field. Ah, oh, 39. If we punt, and we punt to the sideline. So BYU has a change of heart, and they're going to punt and punt for the sideline. Here comes the punting team. Here's the snap, the punt, the angle punt towards the sideline, and it goes in the end zone. Johnson couldn't pin the tide back, so Alabama will start first and 10 on their own 20 with 13-29 to play in the half and a tie ball game 7-7. Alabama tied it up with a block punt after BYU had scored on their first drive of the game, and it was a long one as Parker scored from the 1. So it's tied here, 7-7. We're in a 4-3, it looks like, but I can't call a 4-3 here. That's what's annoying. I don't understand that. So we'll stay in our 4-3, and we're going to play tight man run. And Hurts on a quarterback keeper to the outside, picks up six, tackled by Sparrows. White missed the initial shot, Adam. So Hurts, again, they, that's his fourth carry he has now has nine yards
So second and four o'clock running, 13-20 to play in the half. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. And we're going to play a 3-3 three, three nickel. Tight man. Alabama's two wideouts, two tight ends. We have our linebacker, M.V. Allen, spying Hurts. The lone running back is Scarborough. The wideouts are Ridley and Sims for the tie. The tight ends, Tennyson and Smith. And we're going to blitz Govea and play basic. And here it comes. And it's going to be a big run for Alabama. They pick up the first down. On the 10-yard run by Scarborough, he took a big hit at the end, but he picks up the first, so it's first and 10 on the Alabama 36. I don't understand why I can't... I, 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 I mean, I don't think BYU played a 3-3... A three, three, I mean, they might have played the nickel and all that stuff, but I know they played a 3-4, a 4-3, a 5-2... I'm almost positive. And I don't have those options here. I don't understand why. I don't want to do a 5-2 basic. But I'm going to have to. 5-2 basic, tight man. And we're going to play basic. Again, spying the quarterback. And that run by Hertz picks up six. Again, they go with a quarterback sweep. And he's brought down by Herman. That's Herman's first tackle for the BYU Cougars. And it'll be second and four on the Alabama 42, 11 49 to play in the half at 7 7 ball game in this Titan Bowl between the 84 BYU Cougars and the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide. 4 2 nickel. I, I, this is going to drive me nuts because I cannot play a 3 4 or a 4 3. Bear with me a moment. I have to check something. Options. Game preferences. That's not going to help me. I I don't understand why. You should be able to, Maybe they didn't play a 3-4. I, I, most every college team can play either a 3-4, 4-3, 5 They mix up all their defenses. All right, second and four. Lone running back Scarborough behind Hertz. Hertz under center for the tide. Wideouts Ridley and Sims. Tight ends Tennyson and Smith. And we'll play a 3-3 three, three nickel. Tight man. And we'll play run. Hurts back to pass, looking incomplete. He was looking for the screen for Smith. Uh, the sc and a big pass rush by the Cougars will bring up a third and four. Now Alabama goes to three wideouts and a tight end. So the new wideout is Foster. It's Sims, Foster, and Ridley. The tight end is Smith. So they're going tight end screen on the last play. The lone back is Scarborough. Hertz under center. I'm going to play a 3-2 dime. Short zone. Play our defensive line in. We're keying Hertz with Allen, and we're going to blitz Govea. And we're going to play pass. There it is, Hertz takes up off the middle, and he, does he get it? Does he get it? He picks up the first down. Five-yard gain, finally brought down by Sprouls. That was a clutch run by Jalen Hertz. He has six carries for 20 yards now. 10.54 to play in the half, 7-7 seven, seven ball game in this Titan Bowl. Go to a 3-3 three, three nickel. Actually, we're going to 5-2 basic. Maybe that's what BYU played. And we're not going to key the quarterback. Or spy the quarterback, excuse me. 5-2 basic. Tight man. 
basic. False start. Offense, five-yard penalty. Repeat, first down. Alabama with the false start will back him up five yards. The false start is on Smith, the tight end. So it will be first and 15 from the Alabama 42. And we're going to go 3-3 three, three nickel. Player defensive line in. Alabama with two wideouts, Ridley and Sims. One running back, Scarborough, who's behind Hertz. Hertz under center. The tight ends are Smith and Hengis. We're going to blitz Govea. Tight man pass. And Hertz back to pass. It's a draw to Scarborough or a dive. And he only picks up two. The tackle will be credited to Hamilton. That's Hamilton's first tackle for the BYU Cougars. He'll bring up second and 13 with 10-12 left in the first half in this tie ball game, 7-7. BYU, again, we're going to stick with our nickel. Though Alabama comes with three wideouts now. They bring in Foster. We're going to go to a 3-2 dime. Govea will blitz again. And Allen. Tight man. Pass. So here comes two linebackers. They pick up the blitz, but it's an incomplete pass as Hertz throws for Foster. But Govea and Allen disrupted the timing of that, and it brings up third and 13. And now Hertz goes into shotgun. Scarborough's with him in the backfield. The three wideouts for Alabama are Sims, Foster, and Ridley. The tight end is Smith. We'll stay with our 3-2 dime. We're going to blitz Govea. And we're going to play zone this time. Pass. Here comes the blitz. Hurts back to pass. Has time. Incomplete. Offsides. Defense. Oh, come Five on. Yard penalty. So Govea on the blitz went a little too quick. He's called for the offsides. It'll be a five-yard penalty. As the pass was incomplete, but that goes for not. It'll now be third and eight for the Crimson Tide on the Alabama 49. We're going to shift our defensive line to the left. We're going to blitz Allen. Third and eight. Tight man. Pass. Hurts back to pass. Looking as time. He dumps it down to Scarborough, but he is tackled by Govea, who was staying at home. We blitzed Allen instead. A big tackle by Gove. It's only a gain of four. And here comes the punt team for the Alabama Crimson Tide. So BYU should get the ball back with 9.23 to play in the half. A big play by Gove. BYU puts the return on. Here's the punt by Alabama. It's an angle pump. And they still continue to punt away from Vi Sikihima. It's only a punt of 28 yards. It goes out of bounds at the 19. That's a good punt to pin them back. They got it within the inside the 20. So here comes Robbie Bosco in the Cougar offense. First and 10 at their own 19. Split backfield of Hemuli and Parker. Kozlowski and Heisbert. The wideouts mills the tight end. Play action fake. Bomb post to Mills. Here's a play-action fake. Bosco back to pass. Looking, looking. He fires deep. And Mills has it, but he is nailed. And they're calling it no catch on the big hit by Averett. And we're going to challenge it. The pass may have been caught by Mills. The ruling of incomplete pass. The completion will result in a 46-yard game. 96, 93% chance of success. We're Upon say further review. The ball was secured before it hit the ground. Yes! The pass is complete. No timeout will be charged. Yes! So BYU challenges the play, and it's a 46-yard reception on the bomb post to the tight end Mills, and the Cougars are in business first and 10 on the Alabama 35.
BYU will go with the three wideouts and two running backs. Parker will go out for Kelly, uh, Kelly Smith. So it'll be Smith and Hemuli in the backfield. The three wideouts for BYU. Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. Mills gets a breather after that long pitch and catch of 46 yards. Play action, run counter. Hemuli. Trap left to Himuli. And there goes Himuli. He has a little bit of room, but it's quickly closed by Moses. Only a gain of two, and that's Dylan Moses' third tackle for Alabama. And that will bring up second and eight with 8.22 to play in the first half. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Medium out to Bellini. Bosco back to pass. Here comes a pass rush. He tries to get away from the first man, but he's brought down by Evans. A loss of eight. Tremendous pressure brought right up the middle by the Alabama Crimson Tide. And it will now be third and 16. Clock running 7.30 on the play in the first half. And that basically knocked him out of field goal range. And Bosco has been sacked and for the third time and been hurried on numerous occasions. BYU will stick with the two running backs, three wideouts. The running backs are Himuli and Smith. The wideouts are Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. Screen. Kelly Smith. They're keying that. We're going to stick with it. They set the screen up. Smith is hit. And Smith close to the first down, and he picks it up. Alabama will challenge a spot of the Ruin ball. on the field stands. A timeout will be charged. And Alabama does not get another challenge. And Kelly Smith and Robbie Bosco do it again. A gain of 16 on the screen and a first down. Tremendous blocking up front by that offensive line of the BYU Cougars. That screen play has chewed up and spit out the Alabama Crimson Tide. Clock is now down to 651. Kelly Smith, five receptions, 79 yards. He has been the kryptonite to the Alabama Crimson Tide defense. Smith will go out, and Parker will come back in. Actually, we're going to go with Winningham. Winningham will come in. So three wide out split backfield of Winningham and Hemuli. And we're going to go right back to the screen, but this time to Winningham. Bosco back to pass, setting the screen up. Hits Whittingham, and Whittingham rumbles forward for nine yards. Brought down by Brown, one yard short of the first down. That's Tony Brown's third tackle. Clock running, 6.39 to play. And we're going to go to a slowdown. Chew up clock here. 7-7 seven, seven ball game. BYU scored their touchdown on a long drive, culminated by a one-yard run by Parker out of the full house backfield. Alabama up until they scored on a punt block, and that's how they scored. They blocked a punt. Their offense has not moved the ball at all. So it's second and one on the Alabama 16. Winningham and Himuli in the backfield. Dive play to Himuli. Himuli goes up the middle and a first down, gain of three. So it is 1st and 10 on the Alabama 13. Bosco and the Cougars taking their time in the huddle. 5.53 to play. Field goal attempt here. 96% chance of success. Another thing that Alabama has killed the Alabama Crimson Tide. 3rd and long. And the defense cannot get off the field. They have been murdered with a screen pass. Mostly to Kelly Smith. Whittingham will come out of the game, and here comes Parker. So it'll be Parker and Hemuli in the backfield, the split backfield, Bosco under center. The two, the three wideouts, excuse me, Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. Let's look for Heisbert here. Heisbert on a short out. Quick pass. 
to Heisbert, complete of nine. Offsides. sides, defense, five-yard penalty. We will decline that as Heisbert on the quick hitter to the out. Picked up nine yards. He was tackled by Moses. Declined, so it will be second and one. Clock stops on the flag. Itinerary hobbyist. How are you, my friend? How are you? Hope all is well. Yeah, Alabama blocked. I, I'm playing as BYU, and this game is for Anthony from Bleacher Bums Gaming. I've been able, surprisingly to my surprise, I've been able to stop Alabama on offense, and they pinned me back. Uh, their defense pinned my offense back. I was like, okay, I'm going to punt. And they came right up the middle, and they blocked the ball for a touchdown. So now we have second and one. We're going to go full house backfield. Two tight ends. The tight ends are Mills, who had that huge 46-yard reception on the bomb post, and Molini. Let's see what Molini can do. You know what? Don't get cute, Al. Don't get cute. Control your inner idiot. So we're going to go Winningham on the dive. Second and one. Winningham up the middle, and he is smothered for no gain. Jennings and his friends from the Crimson Tide stuffed that play. That's Jennings' fourth tackle. As we'll stick with the slowdown. It'll be third and one. Alabama was in a 3-4 basic tight man defensive line to the outside. But they were still able to pinch that middle and prevent any sort of gain. So it's third and one. Full house backfield. Parker Himuli. Play action fake. Run counter. Let's see if Parker can pick up his second touchdown here. And we're going to give it to Parker. There goes Parker up the middle, and he's in for the score! Touchdown, Parker! That's his second short run for a TD out of the full house backfield. And the 1984 BYU Cougars take a six-point lead, 13-7. to And let's watch that replay. Play action fake run counter. Parker Hay diddle diddle up the middle for six. One more time. Play action fake. Run counter. Parker right through the middle. Here comes the kick team for the BYU Cougars. The extra point. The snap to place. And it just inside. Woo! What snuck in. That right goal post. And it's now 14-7. BYU over the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide with 417 left in the half. Johnson will kick off for BYU deep for the Tide. Rugs, the short men are Jacobs and Diggs. Here's the kickoff. Rugs has it. Pass the 20 at the 30. Near the 35. He's brought down after a 23 yard gain by Sprouls. So Alabama. And what's been an anemic offense so far in the first half will take over first and 10 at their 35. Hertz will be under center. The lone running back will be Scarborough. He'll be behind them. Again, Alabama goes with a two wide outs, two tight ends. So your tight ends are Hengis and Smith. The wide outs are Ridley and Sims. We're going to go with our 3-3 nickel. We're going to blitz Allen, play tight man. Govea will stay home. And we're going to play basic. Hertz, it's a run by Hertz. And he's got some room. He's got the first down and more. He's past the 50, past the 45. It's a 23-yard gain by Hertz as Hammond missed a tackle. And M.K. Allen finally brings him down. So that's the best offensive play so far for the Crimson Tide. Great blocking up front by the Tide O. Pershabaker with a huge block 
Alabama was in double tight end bootleg for Jalen Hurts. So first and 10 at the BYU 42. BYU will go with a 5-2 basic. Govea will blitz. Tight man. Basic. Hurts back to pass. Looking, looking. He fires incomplete. A big hit on Hurts. By sin, um, who put the hit on him? I don't know. It could have been Govea on the blitz. Hurts is feeling a little dinged up, but he'll stay in the game. The pass was incomplete. As they're trying to hit Calvin Ridley on the medium fly. So tremendous pressure brought by BYU and Govea from the linebacker position. It's now second and ten. We will go back to one of our many 3-3 nickels. And again, I think the game glitched. I have one, two, three, three, three nickels. I don't have a three, four. I don't have a four, three. And I'll have to check it out after the game. So that's kind of annoying. I'm actually playing, to me, handicapped. So we'll play three, three nickel. Our defensive line in. Tight man. We're going to blitz Allen out of the linebacker spot and pass. And Hertz takes up off the middle. Tremendous pressure, and he's brought down after only a one-yard gain by Herman as there was tremendous pressure and penetration by the BYU Cougars. Now third and nine with 3.01 left in the half. Alabama trailing by seven, BYU 14. The Crimson Tide seven here in the first half of this Titan Bowl between the National champions of the 1984, the BYU Cougars, and the national champions of, the, of this past college football season, the 2017 Alabama Crimson Tide. The Tide go to a hurry up, and we'll let well that's fine with us. So Alabama has two tight ends, Tennyson and Smith, two wideouts Ridley and Sims, and one running back Scarborough. Again, Hurts under center. Third and nine. We're going to play a zone. And we're going to blitz Allen and pass. So Allen blitzes from his linebacker position. Hurts fires over the middle. It's a bad pass. Deflected by Govea. What a game Govea's having. And it brings up fourth and nine. And here comes the punt team for Alabama. So after that one successful run by Jalen Hurts, the offense goes to snot, I guess. They go to sleep, and BYU put them to sleep. So here's the punt. It's an angle punt. Again, not punting to Vi Sikihima. Sikihima has not been able to return the ball once. Alabama's done an excellent job on special teams with their punting game, and also they have the punt, the blocked punt for the touchdown. Their special teams has been quite good. Their offense has only had one big play, that big run by Jalen Hurt. On the drive that just ended with a punt. So BYU will start first and 10 at their own 15 with 227 to play in a 7 point lead. Bosco comes back out under center. And we have a split backfield of Hemuli and Parker. The two wideouts are Kozlowski and Maysbert. The tight end is Mills. The big play on the last drive was the bomb post to the tight end Mills. They called it incomplete, but BYU challenged the play, and it was after a further review, it was a catch. So we're going to go screen to Parker. BYU sets up the screen. Parker has it, and about 15 yards. No, it's a 17-yard gain. Jennings finally brings him down. Clock running, 217 to play. BYU. We'll go to the hurry up. They're not going to call time yet. So first and 10 on the BYU 32. That screenplay has killed Alabama for a gazillion yards. And now Hemi Lee will go out. Oh, we're in the hurry up. We can't do that. So we're going to go screen to the other side now to Hemi Lee. Here comes the pressure and brought down for the fourth time is Bosco. Davis with the sack. That's a loss of 13. And I believe Alabama 
has just called a timeout. As I didn't call a timeout. And they did. Oh, it's a two-minute warning. College doesn't have a two-minute warning. So the clock stops due to a two-minute warning. I got to fix that. So second and 23. And coming in the game for Parker is Smith. But Smith will now just switch to the other side. Hemingly will come out. I mean, Parker will switch to the other side. Hemingly will come out. So the backfield is Smith and Parker. The wideouts are Kozlowski and Heisbert. The tight end is Mills. 156 to play in the half. 14-7. to The 2017 Alabama Crimson tri the tied trail to the 1984 BYU Cougars. Both teams won national championships. Both teams together won 26 games. There was only one loss, and that was by Alabama. And in on the page, I had a dyslexic moment. I put Alabama at 31 and one. It should be 13 and one. I'll fix that later. So second and 23. I'm gonna throw a screen, but we're not gonna throw it to Smith. We're gonna throw it to Parker on the other side, and hopefully they're keying Smith on the screen. So we're gonna go Parker screen. Bosco back to pass. Incomplete. Deflected by Averett. So a great job by Anthony Averett. Now bring up third and 23. BYU will go three wideouts, one running back. And the running back will be Smith. The wideouts, Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. The tight end, Mills. You know what's coming. The screen to Smith. Why not? It's worked. Here comes the screen. And batted down by hand. Great pass rush. By the Alabama Crimson Tide. Hand couldn't get there. And what do they teach you? If you can't get to the quarterback, get your hands up. He deflects the ball away. And it's fourth and 23 with 136 to play in the half. And here comes the punt. And the last time BYU punted deep in their own end zone, Alabama blocked it and brought it in for a touchdown. Payne had the touchdown there. So we're going to punt again. I wish I could go max protect on the punt. But our choice is punt deep, punt sideline, pooch punt. We're going to punt deep. Here's a snap. Can they get the punt off? They do. Alabama with the return. It's a gain of eight for Marks. He's brought down by Wilcox. So Jalen Hurts in the Alabama offense will come out with 130 left in the half, trailing by seven, first and ten on their own 47. They go with four wideouts. And one running back. Scarborough has pretty much been the running back this whole game. The wideouts are Sims, Foster, Ridley, and Judy. Hertz is under center. He's a, he's a threat to run. We're going to play a 3-2 dime. And Govea is going to spy the quarterback. And we're going to play zone pass. Hurts back to pass. Plenty of time. Looking, looking, looking. He fires deep. Touchdown! The Ridley. Extra point is good. And just like that, Alabama strikes quick and ties the ball game up. I went to a zone. I didn't bring pressure that time. Hurts had all day in the world. He hits Ridley for the touchdown. And we have a 14-14 ball game with 1-14 before the half. Let me just go here. So Hertz, that was a 53-yard touchdown pass to Ridley. So Alabama's points have come on two big plays. A blocked punt and a bomb. As BYU and their fans are in shock. And in the chat, we have Alan Shaw. He says, Go Bama! Super Sports 22,000 says, Wow! Itinerant Hobby says, That was a long pass. Yes, it was. I didn't bring pressure. I didn't play man. I mixed it up. And that cost me. So, two big plays. 
Alabama scored on a punt block by Payne. Payne picked it up. I'm not sure if he blocked it, but he got the punt after. And uh, so they've had two big two big plays, one on special teams and one on offense. Here's the kickoff deep for BYU is Vi Sikahima. Parker and Whittingham, the short man. The return's on. Let's see if Vi Sikahima can have a big play. Here comes a return from Sikahima, and he stopped before the 34. Illegal block. Receiving team. So the 24-yard return will be nullified by the illegal block by M.V. Allen. And once again, you have Robbie Bosco and the BYU Cougars starting deep in their own territory with a minute seven to play in a tie ball game. In the backfield, you have Kelly Smith and Parker. So we have two wideouts, Kozlowski and Heisberg, and the tight end Mills. We're going to go max protect. We're going to go play action fake, max protect. So Parker, Kelly Smith, and Mills will stay in the block. And we're going to go medium fly. To Kozlowski. Back to pass. Max protect. Kozlowski is caught. 20 yard gain. Brought down by Jennings. And we will call timeout. So we want Max protect. Because the Tide have been able to bring tremendous pressure on Robbie Bosco. Who was an excellent college quarterback. He was outstanding Robbie Bosco. So clock stops with 56 seconds in the half. 14-14. And again, we're going to keep Parker and Mills in the block. Smith will go out wide. And we're going to look for a medium out to Kelly Smith. Two blockers in. Bosco with time. He hits Smith on the out. Pickup of 32 yards. Finally dragged down by Jones. Kelly Smith now has six receptions, 111 yards, 47 seconds. The clock is running. And Robbie Bosco will call the second timeout for the BYU Cougars. So first and 10 on the Alabama 39 as Mr. Utah Mike says, Go Bama! Wow, who would have thought that? Mr. Utah Mike does not root for BYU. How are you, Mr. Utah Mike? Hope all is well, as well with Super Sports 22,000 and Alan Shaw, an itinerary hobbyist. It's been a thrilling first half, 14-14. BYU has one timeout left. Bosco under center, split backfield of Parker and Smith. The wideouts are Kozlowski and Heisberg. The tight end is Mills. And we're going to go screen to Kelly Smith. Here comes the screen. Smith in stride, but he is nailed for a one-yard loss. And we'll have to use our final timeout. No more timeouts. We try to get him with the screen, thinking the big pass rush was coming. But we've burnt them so many times on the screen, they finally learned their lesson and learned it well. <laughs> so second and 11. A long field goal here is only a 12% chance of success for Johnson. So second and 11, no timeouts. We'll work the sidelines here. As we'll do head out of bounds. And we're going to go three wide outs. One running back. The lone running back will be Kelly Smith. The wide outs now for BYU. Kozlowski, Heisberg, and Bellini. The tight end is Mills. We're going to put Mills out wide. We're going to look for Bellini on the short out. Bosco back to press. Looking for Bellini. He hits him. Gain of seven. And Bellini steps out of bounds. So it brings up third and four. Clock stops with 30 seconds to play. And that seven-yard gain has now made it a 60% chance of making the field goal for Johnson from this distance. Mr. Utah Mike says... Good. He's doing good. We like to hear that. And remember, check out Mr. Utah Mike's channel. He's got some really good stuff coming up. 
And he has a little, like, commercial for his channel on his YouTube station. So check that out. That's Mr. Utah Mike. He says he's doing good. I'm more of a University of Utah fan, which means it's like rooting for the Red Sox in baseball. Oh, I got you. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. I understand now. All right. Third and four. No timeouts for BYU. Bosco and the Cougars break the huddle. They'll have to work the sidelines. Again, three wideouts, Kozlowski, Heisberg, and Bellini. The tight end is Mills. The lone running back is Smith. Smith will go out wide. Mills will go out wide. We're going to look. I'm assuming they're going to be sitting on the outs. If we pop a medium cross, we're going to get a touchdown. We're going to go medium cross to Kozlowski. They're keying that. How? Can, wow, they're how, wow. Alabama 3-3 nickel showing blitz. And we're going to go medium fly to Bellini. Bosco changed the play. Incomplete. Pass interference. Yes! Defense. Yes! Automatic. First down. So Bellini is interfered with by Carter who thought he had an interception. He dropped the ball, but he was draped all over him and came early. Bosco stood tall with the heavy pressure, and now it will be first and 10 on the Alabama 20 with 19 seconds to play. A field goal here is 90% chance of success. So again, Al, Red Sox fan, control your inner idiot. Do not do anything stupid. BYU will stick with the three wideouts. Kozlowski, Heisbert, and Bellini. Mills is a tight end. The lone back is Kelly Smith. Bosco under center. Head out of bounds. Screen to Smith. Come on. Pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it. And he's brought down. Oh, God. I did not control my inner idiot. I don't think we can. we spike the ball? We should be able to spike the ball. Bosco, spike the ball. You must run the hurry up. Okay. Bosco, spike the ball. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, we don't do it in time. Well, that's the half. I should have thrown a quick out. I did not control my inner idiot. I got cute, thinking I could pop a screen to the outside. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Yeah. So we will receive for the second half. And we're going to call it a stream as Al Red Sox fan made a big boo-boo there. I try to get cute and pop a screen. I had head out of bounds thinking if we break a tackle, we pick up eight yards, go out of bounds. But after killing them on the screen play, Alabama's finally figured it out. And I just gave away three points in a tight ball game. Not good. Not good, not good, not good. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. As itinerary Hobbers says, bummer, man, bummer. Yeah, I got cute after saying, Al Red Sox fan, control your inner idiot. I went to my inner idiot. Greg Garecki, how are you, my friend? As he says, that was a chance you might regret. Absolutely. I got cute, Greg. Hope all is well, Greg. Hope all is well. Um, I got cute after saying repeatedly, don't do anything stupid. Mr. Utah Mike says, on BYU championship team, they beat a less valued team in Michigan and still went undefeated. Yep, they won in the Holiday Bowl. I remember that. And itinerary hobbyists, the fans are yelling at the coach. They sure are. They sure are. So I'd like to say thank you to itinerary hobbyists. Check out his wonderful channel. Lots of strategy games. There, A lot of military stuff. He also... Um, does collaborations with the original Grognard, that's Devin, both wonderful channels. And thank you to Greg Garecki, he says he's doing fine, that's awesome. Thank you to Mr. Utah Mike, check out his channel, he's getting that up and running again. That's Mr. Utah Mike. Thank you to Super Sports 22000, Alan Shaw, and Beatles Eternally, moderator extraordinaire. 
So we're going to call it a stream. We'll bring you the second half at a later date, maybe later tonight. And I'm going to rue the day I didn't kick that field goal. That was my stupidity. So thank you very much for watching. Have a happy Easter weekend. Until next time, health, happiness, take care, enjoy, live, laugh, love. God bless and peace.